It's been a tough day here at Eyewitness News. Our good friend Larry Stogner brought us some devastating personal news about a medical condition that he's fighting. Larry decided this evening's 6 o'clock newscast would be his final newscast, and he wanted to tell all of you exactly what's happening. I am sure that in recent months you've noticed a change in my voice, my speech slower. Many of you were kind enough to email me ideas about what it might be or just to show concern, and I truly appreciate that. As it turns out, I have ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. There is no cure. My career in broadcast journalism is coming to an end. Larry gathered us together earlier in the afternoon to share the news. I would just have to take one day at a time, and I ask for your prayers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Larry Stogner. Larry has been reporting the news on ABC 11 since 1976, covering stories all around the world in Afghanistan, Haiti, China, and Japan. He's interviewed presidents and people who wanted to be president, and he's brought us the stories that have touched his heart. The news continues with Larry Stogner. Good evening, everyone. American Eagle Flight 3379. Every night since 1982, Larry has been on Channel 11 at 6 o'clock, helping us understand the world, bringing us comfort during tough times. And tonight, Larry followed the footsteps he's walked for 33 years. One final walk to the anchor chair to bring us the day's news. His wife, Bobby, didn't want to miss it. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tisha Pound. I'm Larry Stogner. We have our mobile units on the road tonight. For all of us in the studio, we couldn't believe we were hearing this for the final time. And now more than ever, I say to you for all those 39 years, thanks for the company. Have a good night. It's been an emotional day for us all, a very tough day for Larry, deciding to retire before he was ready. You don't know how much all your support means. Very important. And I just ask for your continued prayers. As you can imagine, we've had an incredible outpouring of well wishes from all of you, our viewers. Even Governor McCrory called to talk to Larry this evening. Here's what many of you are saying on social media. A lot of people reflecting on, on their memories of Larry watching him here on Eyewitness News. And this one from the USO is poignant. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Larry and his family. We're thankful for all Larry has done for our community. And Byron Pitts, you know him. He's one of the anchors at ABC News on Nightline. He says, love you, Skip. You know Pitts family praying for Stogner, ABC 11, one of the best ever, a gentleman, journalist, and my friend. He uh, actually was an intern here, and we know Byron well. And this uh, caught our eye as well. This is from a young man named Wes Brown. Sorry to hear the news about Larry Stogner. He was my Vietnam veteran pen pal in my Lessons of Vietnam class in high school. And that was something very close to Larry's heart. He was a Vietnam veteran and wanted to share that experience with young people so that war would not be forgotten. We're also hearing from a lot of viewers on Facebook as well. Mary Alvarez saying, you just brought a tear to my eye. You will be very missed. Our evenings won't be the same without you. God bless and enjoy your well-deserved time with your family. And Kim Roberts says, I have watched you on the news since childhood. You will be dearly missed by all. Wishing strength and peace to you and your family. And Julie Hansford writes, hurts my heart. You've touched so many lives over the years. Be with your family. And I know Larry appreciates all of those well wishes and your prayers tonight. And we've created a special page for Larry at ABC11.com. You can read the statement about his retirement, see photos of him through the years, as well as learn more about Larry's career and see a video of his career highlights. This diagnosis came uh, very suddenly for Larry and for his family and, and for all of us. So uh, we're going to put together a, a week of, of tributes to Larry, really taking a look back uh, at his career, what an amazing career it's been. That'll be mm -hmm. the week after next, the week of February 2nd, and then he'll be back here uh, in the anchor chair on February 6th, Friday uh, at 6 o'clock. So we hope you'll join us for that. Yeah, it's not going to be the same without him, yeah. but he'll be back with us for a little bit mm -hmm. more. Absolutely.